Thermochemical equations show delta H or heat as reactants or products, depending on if the reaction is endo or exothermic. If you look at this top reaction, we have 890 kilojoules. It's a product, which means it's going to be given off in the reaction. Exothermic reactions give off energy, so this top reaction is exothermic. Anytime you see energy as a product, it's being released, and so it's exo. In the next reaction, we have energy as a reactant, so it's being absorbed, which means it's endothermic. When you have an equation like this, you can do a mass to heat calculation. So the first part in A wants to know what's the change in enthalpy of this reaction. Before you can solve this problem, you're going to need a balanced equation. To balance it, we're going to need a 1, a 2, and a 2. Pause the iPod and calculate the change in enthalpy. You're going to need to use your delta H of formations for this. Oxygen has a delta H of formation of 0. Hydrogen zero, and H2O liquid is negative 258.8. So doing our delta H equation, we have products minus reactants, and we have two H2O, so we need to multiply that by two. Minus our reactants, which in this case is zero. So our delta H is negative 571.6 kilojoules. The reaction must be exothermic because delta H is negative. Another way of writing it, instead of saying negative 571.6, is to write it part of the equation, to make it a thermochemical equation. When we add it as a product, we just say that it's positive 571.6, because the only reason that delta H is negative is to show that energy is being released, because you can't see it in the reaction. So whenever you're asked to write the thermochemical equation, that's what you should write. Looking at this one, we're just writing the thermochemical equation for the decomp of potassium chlorate and a potassium chloride and oxygen. So the first thing you need to do is write a balanced equation. We're starting with potassium chlorate, and it tells us what it decomposes into potassium chloride and oxygen. We need to have it balanced. So 223, and it says that delta H is positive 90, which tells us it's endothermic, and so it should be as a reactant. That's our thermochemical equation. We can use this thermochemical equation in a mass to energy problem, basically just using stoichiometry. Always start with what they give you, in this case 24 grams of nitrogen. We're converting it to energy. So just like all our Stoke problems, convert what they give you to moles. So 28 grams of nitrogen equal one mole. Now that we have moles, we're going to look at our balanced equation. We have one mole of nitrogen for every 22 kilojoules. We're at our unit that we want, kilojoules. Everything else cancels out, so we can now solve. Multiplying and dividing, you get 18.9 kilojoules. This one is slightly different just for the fact that they gave us energy and we're looking for grams of water. And just looking at our equation, is that an endo or exothermic reaction? That should be an exothermic reaction. Alright, so we start with our 500 kilojoules we know that there's 572 kilojoules for every two moles of water. So whatever they give you, you've got to get it to moles. 
We don't want moles of water though, we want grams of water. So one more step, one mole of water weighs 18 grams. Units cancel, multiplying and dividing, you get 31.5 grams of water. Pause the iPod and try this one on your own. Okay, in this one you have 96.4 grams of NO2. You're converting to kilocalories. Start with what you're given. Convert it to moles. And you should be showing all work on your paper. One mole was 46 grams. Looking at our balanced equation, we have two moles of NO2 for every 16.2 kilocalories. We want our answer in kilocals, so multiplying and dividing, you get 16.97 or 17 kilocals. Pause the iPod and try this one on your own. You should have got in 69.3. If you got that, you can stop the iPod. If not, we started with 35.6 grams of FEL, converted it to moles, and every four moles of FEO is 560.4 kilojoules. We need to add our molar mass of FEO. You should have gotten 72. If you multiply and divide correctly, you get 69.3 kilojoules.